it's Nick Lesmax back in the old testing box. We're in XFCE here, lovely jubbly jubbly. Right, today we're going to do a bit something different. Network attached storage. Now, I don't know if you're like me, you've got a lot of stuff hanging around hard drives, motherboards, cases, RAM. What do you do with it all? Well, hopefully, if you've got big enough disks, you can make yourself a new FreeNAS box. Oh, yeah, new. Oh, yeah, just put it all together and off you go. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to open up their web page first, okay? This is FreeNAS, based on FreeBSD, remember? So, super solid, stable, lovely jabbly, and all that. Well, not crashed on me yet. I've done three lots of it so far this year. But this is the latest release, it's 8.0.2, and it's really nice, it's too. Now, it's really, really easy to install. You can test it in virtual machine or VMware, whatever you want to do, okay? So, yeah, super duper. It took about one minute to install, okay? One minute. Now, bearing in mind, it's really meant for really, really high storage, right? So, you can get a ZFS file system, which you really will need a lot of RAM for. But if you're just like me, you know, just want a bit of storage and a bit of stuff, UFS is the file system to go with. Or you can use something else if you really want to. But yeah, on their site, there's plenty of documentation. If I go to documentation here, go down there, bam, 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 wait for it to come up, yeah, bam, bam, tells you all about it. Go for it at your own ease. It's really, really easy. And there are video tutorials on it. I'm not going to do a proper tutorial because they've done some really good ones themselves. So I ain't going to believe them do that. I'm not really, no, I'm not. But community, if you go to videos, and I'll click on here for you. Five hundred one. one. There you go. And when it decides it wants to come up, there it is. The videos are on their site, so how to install in VMware. I know he's done it on a Mac here, but hey, neither are there really, because it's just for network attached storage, isn't it? So you just configure the system, the volumes and the overviews, share overviews, etc. etc. I'm not gonna bore you of all that, am I really? No. But it's all there on the FreeNAS site. Yes, it sure is. So we're gonna go away from there. Okay. Right. Here is my FreeNAS box. Oh yes it is, yes. You can log in from any machine, because you get a specific HTTP or whatever it is. So, you get your web address to go to, put it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and it tells you anything you really want to know about it. <clears throat> so bearing in mind, if you're going to install it, do remember to change the admin and uh, account name and the password the first thing you do, okay? That's the first thing. Right, so we're in reporting at the moment. So it gives us all our internet traffic. Look, and our CPU usage, nothing at all, because I've not really done much with this one really. System load, lovely jabbly, and all stuff like that. I'm not going to the settings, because it'll give you where I am. No. But I'm not going to keep this one, this is just for testing anyway. System information, FreeNAS local, lovely, FreeNAS, that's the release I'm using. I'm using it on a quad core machine here. That's how much memory I've given it. That's the time, that's the uptime. So this one's been up 22 minutes. These are our load averages. Nothing at all, really, is it, when you think about it. You can add your cron jobs. Oh, yeah, add and view. Lovely. Syncing tasks. It's all here. Bear in mind, it's a really, really small download. And it doesn't take really hardly any time to install. So I was pretty you know, impressed with that. But under your storage, excuse me, you can take snapshots of your tasks, replications, and volumes. So you can mount my new disk, which is there. Auto import volumes, create volumes, etc., etc. Lovely. Sharing, you can do different shares on different file systems, even better, lovely. Services, you can add all these services too. So smart, so if you want to keep checking your hard disk out, make sure they're not going to die on you, even better. Supports RAID as well, and it's really, really, really super duper. I'm going to the running process, this comes up here, look. As you can see, it's not doing anything at all, really. It's just thinking about doing stuff, really, isn't it? I think because I'm not using it. Right, this box will be reloaded with FreeNAS, and I'll be doing some backing up and putting all my stuff on here in RAID 2. Oh, yes, and easy. So, yeah, if you want some network attached storage, use FreeNAS. It's super a and duper. Oh, yes. Here's a site one more time. FreeNAS.org. That's all you really need to know. Yeah, no, it is really all you really need to know. I thought you might like that one. Sneaky. Linux. Gana in the free BSD. Oh yeah, I'm gonna baby. Bye bye.